Hello, welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video, and that is the, uh, the Methus, or the Methus, the Methus, the Methus, I think it's the Methus, the Meth, <laughs> and yeah, it's going to be initial thoughts on it. I managed to snag both the level 1 and level 2, which are 500 and 550 each, and, uh, you know, the new jungle map, we're going to try it out on, and for some reason, even though I've only been playing custom matches and haven't disconnected from those custom matches, I have a fucking penalty, and I don't fucking know why. Uh, so uh, this was a custom match, so I don't think it's going to be the, the best that it could be, sadly. But, you know, you still get to see some gameplay, and I get to tell you what it's like playing it. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty alright suit, pretty fun suit. Uh, a lot of people say it's like a better Rick Diaz, but I don't think it's that, like, no, nah, I don't think it's a better Rick Diaz, but I do think it's a pretty good shooty general. It's got those two uh, beam pistols it's got there, you know, go Matrix on people, just start blasting away, you know, like uh, fucking Danny DeVito, anyway, I started blasting, stuff like that. Uh, you can charge it up and then you'll blind your fucking screen whenever you fire, but anything that's in the way is going to get blasted by it. Uh, I think it takes three hits to four to stun somebody. Also, that Z-Gawk is a really good Z-Gawk. He's going to keep him coming up behind us and killing us. Uh, and when you charge it up, I think it takes two of the hits to stun somebody. And then it has a double clay bazooka launcher, which readies up very... Uh, I say readies up. Every time you shoot a shot and reloads, it's ready again. So it's pretty handy. Uh, almost sounds like a support type. But, you know, for whatever reason, uh, this is a general. We're never going to get a fucking flying support type at this point. It's been a fucking year. Uh, literally a year. <laughs> uh, that, and also, it, the water update came out, so I was kind of expecting, you know, a water suit. But for some reason, if a fucking flying Zeta suit, I guess. Uh, you know, there is a, a double Zeta suit that's underwater called the the Capul or the Capsule, Capul, Capul. You know, the thing that's in turn A also, the thing that goes underwater, it's an amphibious suit. Could have been, you know, in the water update, but nah, flying suit, I guess. It makes perfect sense, you know. Uh, but, you know, oh, nice counter. Good old high kick. Uh, the thing does pretty good damage, and then uh, it can also transform, and, and then its uh, beam pistols work kind of like the Gaza Seas. Uh, you rapid fire, although a bit slower, and, uh, you know, you stun people eventually with it <laughs> like that Gabaldi beta and you can ram people too which is nice and uh also pretty cool is that it also you can use the double beam on uh, the beam bazookas the double clay bazookas in your uh, mobile armor mode so you can shoot somebody with that and get like a shooting combo going and then finish off by ramming them uh so overall I think it's a pretty pretty good support suit well, a supporting general suit, my bad. Oh, I also forgot, it has the, the, uh, the flash grenade, which can stun somebody too, which I always, I forget I have that most of the time. <laughs> I think the, uh, the beam pistols and the bazooka is like enough for me just to get a kill on somebody, uh, and then I'll accidentally pull out the flash grenade and go, oh shit, I have a flash grenade. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the, ah, oh, I forgot to put down the, uh, every single resistance it has, but uh, I'm pretty sure going off the level 2, it has 25 of each, and so maybe the level 1 has 23, 24, 22, somewhere around there in the beam ballistic resistance, and you can uh, boost those up with the, you know, the parts and get it really tanky. Uh, the only problem is that its melee resistance is pretty low, and so is its melee uh, boost. I think like around 10, maybe less. And then beam resistance is like 5 or something like that, less than 10. So it's obviously not meant to get into uh, a kerfuffle with people. <laughs> it's meant to uh, just stay back, start shooting at people, just go fucking ham with uh, firing at everybody. And you know, that's fine, fine by me. And it can transform, do all that crazy stuff that transforming flying suits can do. Really helpful. Uh, so, you know, if you want a, a suit that you need for backup, well, there you go. There's the, the Methus. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> it's boggling me now. Like, is it the, the, the Methus? 
The meth? I think it's the meth this. Uh, but yeah. Oh man, they killed my Yagu friend. Oh wait, never mind, he's still alive. No, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of the water update. Um, water update's been great so far. I already have a few matches recorded. Because I, you know, you know me, I love my amphibious suits. And, uh, oh yeah. Forgot to mention with the, uh, the Methus. The Methus. God damn it, that's gonna bother me now. Uh, melee is pretty good. Uh... Pretty fast neutral swing, down swings all right, uh, so you can definitely annoy some people with it. Uh, but back to water, uh, water is pretty fun. Uh, I kind of wish it did a little bit more for amphibious suits, but I'm fine with what it is. Uh, it makes a lot of suits way more faster underwater. The Yagu is somewhat of a threat, uh, not because of the balancing they did on it. No, fuck no. <laughs> all the balancing they did, they're like, hey, uh, we acknowledge that the Yagu. Past level one gets fucked up and stunned a lot because it's big and slow, but we're just gonna up the damage on it. We're not gonna give it maneuver armor or anything useful. Thanks, guys. Thank you for doing that to the Yagu. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but they did give it ground adaptability. Uh, pretty sure the missiles fire faster too, along with doing more, a little bit more damage. Uh, and, you know, the Zox's pretty terrifying. Oh, another thing about the water is, uh, I kind of wished a lot of the suits that, uh, they said a lot of suits were going to be able to move and fire their primary weapons. I wish a lot of suits in this game could, uh, amphibious suits in this game could have done that. Uh, so far it's the Z-Gok, z, -Gok, z -E, the Gog, the High Gog, and the Z, z -Gok, the Ram z -Gok. there we go. Uh, I kind of wish, you know, it could do something crazy, like, since there's so much, so there's little water, make it to where something like the Zoc can move while charging its, uh, its beam particle cannon, that'd be interesting, or the Zogok, which, the Zogok is, uh, counts as amphibious suit in here, even though it's a little bit more terrestrial than, uh, the other amphibious suits, but still counts uh, they could have made it to where it's boosting and using its boomerangs, and since they buffed it a little bit, it would have made it a pretty good, you know, amphibious suit underwater. Uh, but, eh, whatever. <laughs> I guess only the, the z -Gok and the Gogs are good. The z -Goks and the Gogs, there we go. Uh, you know, it would be interesting to see, like, oh man, like, if you would have saw the, the Juagu just moving and firing its, uh, bazookas, uh, like Matrix or some shit, it'd be fucking cool. Uh, surprisingly, the at guy can't move while using its uh, mega particle cannon or its uh, missiles, which I thought that would have been a, a fucking given, but nah, whatever. Uh, I guess it has to be a weapon you can already move in, but you can't use while boosting. <laughs> oh well. Uh, speaking of, I had a really fucking amazing at guy match. I went to post that later. See, the, the, it's a level 4 one, so it's absolute stealth, and you just go in the water, and nobody knows where the fuck you're at. <laughs> um, Agu guy, even though it got nerfed, I still think it's a pretty good suit still. Uh, I think they only nerfed the health. They nerfed the damage, I don't know. The damage is fine, what I think about it. And, oh, hey, the timeout, so we'll see what's going on real quick. Also, the transformation, you don't hop up in the air like everybody else. You just go straight forward. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let's see, mission completed. Hey, uh, top assist score. Oh, I forgot. I also played with King Fode here. King Fade. Uh, he comes from our Discord. And, uh, hey, fifth place, two and two. Uh, so the suit's alright. It's just, uh... I mean, I kind of prefer some other shooty generals. The the Methus is definitely a, a fucking amazing suit. Just with everything going on. And it does a lot of damage. It, like I said, it's a really good supporting general suit. It can transform and just stun lock people with its transformation. And, uh, of course, at 550, everything uh, has pretty low ballistic resistance. So those bazookas are definitely handy. And uh, I'm pretty sure it has a really low like explosion, explosive radius or something. Because I can hit a cubile or a wall next to a cubile and it won't get stunned. I was like, oh, that's weird. I, I think I feel like the blast radius could have... Uh, at least tapped it a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm fine with how the, the Methus is. I just wished it was a support. But then again, this is the Methus Heavy, which I guess is a variant of the, the Methus. It's kind of weird we started out with a variant and not the actual Methus. 
uh, I, I guess they just really don't want to put fucking flying support game or support games, flying support suits in this game. Uh, it's not going to break the game or anything. Uh, I mean, you literally just released a raid suit that has like almost every fucking useful skill in the game and can snipe, has a heavy stagger. Uh, I think you can get away with having a support type that can fly for like half a second. If you're, I mean, if the Gaza sees anything to go by, uh, <laughs> that's how you're going to make your supports. Uh, which they actually buffed the Gaza Sea too. I have to talk about some of those rebalances. Yeah, the Gaza Sea got balanced in damage, health. Uh, although I feel like balancers could have worked for that just fine. Uh, maybe for the level two. And of course, the I talked about the Juagu. Uh, that thing <laughs> needed maneuver armor past level like three. Like it goes to 500, and everything at 500 can stun you pretty easily. I feel like maneuver armor should at least be on the level five. Uh, but I guess that would make it too good for some reason for a support type. Uh, and then the Full Armor 7th Gundam got buffed, which was interesting, because I thought it was pretty fine as it is. Uh, apparently its win rate was below average, uh, which is surprising. Maybe it's just people don't know how to fucking play it, but... <laughs> uh, they did buff something that I thought was pretty smart, where uh, they noticed that a lot of people were using their grenade launchers... Uh, in close range, because, you know, you, you pop those off, you stun somebody real quick, and you can defend yourself. So they I think they buffed the damage on that, which was nice of them. Uh, that was definitely a good call. And I'm trying to remember some of the other ones. I think the uh, the Unit 4 BST, the boosted, I think it was, uh, they ner nerfed, they buffed the damage on its beam cannon, which was interesting. Uh... I might, might have to use that sometime. Um, I know they buffed the melee damage on the the, the Unit 5 BST. I think there's something else. Uh, the Zogok, of course, got buffed with its boomerang. It staggers easier. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think that should be the majority of it. There's probably another suit that I'm thinking about, or that I'm not thinking about. But uh, yeah, it's going to be in this video. If you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the uh, the comment section what you feel about the uh, the Methus. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And, of course, what do you feel about the water update? For me, uh, I can't help but feel a little bit of a, like a tad bit of disappointment. Uh, overall, I love this update so far. I love the new map, but I feel like there's just like some weird shit going on. Like, hey, uh... Here's a flying, <laughs> flying, uh, fucking suit for the water update. Uh, and, uh, some of the suits I feel like should have been moving while, uh, shooting their primary weapons. I think the name of the move is the, the, the skills, like the aquatic mobile shooting. Uh, I think that's the name of it. And, uh, I feel like there maybe should have been a little bit more added to the uh, amphibious suits to make it uh, better for the little amount of water there is in this game. Maybe uh, something crazy like force injectors. Although I did call that they were going to do the, uh, I think I did, uh, the boost and jump, jump and boost in the water. I did predict that. Kind of like the, uh, the f I think it's called the flight control program. Whenever you're in the air, you can boost forward. As soon as you hit the water, you can boost forward, even the stuff like the Zok and the the Juagu, which I thought was uh, pretty good. It definitely helps uh, do a softer landing. You don't have to just immediately hit the ground and stay there for a little bit and watch everybody shoot you, like on a regular port base. <laughs> and man, port that new port base map variant is really fun. I enjoy it a hell of a lot. Uh, I think I'll be having a couple of videos uh, about it. Yeah, I know the at guy match I mentioned earlier is going to be a part of it. Ooh. But yeah, overall, I feel like this uh, this update was pretty good. Even though I'm disappointed that's a flying uh, a flying suit got in here in a water update, it is a good uh, a good suit. And you know, if you're into your shooty generals, I highly recommend you get this. And uh, it's pretty useful for the the cost range it's at 500, 550. Uh, pretty good utility, and of course it flies, which is amazing. And it's really uh, agile and flying too. Uh, it used to, I have to get used to how it transforms because I, 
I, I, I'm always used to them, like, jumping up in the air, but now he just goes straight forward. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you run into a tree or something. But, uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.